In this video, we're going to configure the EMI meter. This function is great for interactive debugging of frequencies of interest between EMI scans. The meter is shown in this area to the right of the main scan display. The first thing we want to do to configure the meter is hit the Mode Setup button. That allows us to go into this meter control menu. Here we can set the dwell time for these measurements. We can also go in individually to each meter and set the detector value, and if we want an individual limit and limit point for each detector. Here you can see we're using the peak, quasi-peak, and EMI average detectors for these three meters. These don't necessarily have to correlate with the detectors used in the three traces in the main scan window. Also in the meter controls menu, we can figure out we can determine how to couple this meter to the main signals. We can either couple it to a signal in the signal table or as we're doing here to the marker. Coupling it to the marker allows us to do a, a one quick, one button, quick measurement. I can hit the peak button and immediately go to the main signal of interest on the display, and I immediately get interactive results from my meter at that frequency. The purple line on the main scan display determines the frequency of the meter. This is how to set up and use the meter for easy interactive EMI debugging.